In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a command button which will allow you to delete a record. So uh, what we are going to essentially do is like simulate a delete button. So if I select an item over here and if I click on delete, it will actually delete the record, right? Now, if I want to simulate that, okay, then how do I do that? So first thing, uh, you need to go into the uh, the Mendel's application. So Mendel's application, I've already created one model driven application, which is called as uh, uh, Aussie, uh, I believe it's called as Aussie resources. So Aussie resources, which is a model driven app. And if you click on edit, then it will allow you to view that item. Uh, and then from there, you can go ahead and select the view uh, and then click on edit command bar. So once you are in the edit command bar, uh, you will be uh, sent into this particular screen and it has all the commands listed over here. Now, if you want to just look into what is there in the delete command, now delete is based on running a JavaScript. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to write a command, basically that will run a power effects. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do, I'll click on new, new command. Now, once you create a new command, we just need to name the command. So I'll just call this as delete mineral. Okay, so I'm just going to delete one of the record. Now we need to select an icon. Uh, let me select delete, delete bulk or cancel. Let me get the cancel. Let me get this icon. Okay, so this looks nice. So delete mineral. And now in action, run formula. I need to click on open formula bar. So what is the action which we are going to do is one is we need to first we do multiple actions. So in order to delete a record, there is a command in PowerFX called as remove. So remove, remove what? Remove from the table. And what you want to remove? We want to remove an item. So there are multiple uh, uh, parameters it takes. So first one takes an item, then there is collection to remove rows from. So removes a specific record or record from a data source. And then, you know, you can just uh, put in that value and start appending it. So if you want to remove one item, just put one item. If you want to put push, remove multiple items, then you just put all the items over there. Okay. So this is how you basically remove the uh, record. Now, in our case, we just want to remove just one record. So it's just simple. So we're going to put self dot selected dot item. And this is how you basically remove the record. Now, We'll remove the record, but then what might happen is like the changes may not be reflected immediately. Uh, why? Because the screen needs to be refreshed or the user needs to be notified. So for that, what we are going to do, we are going to just type in notify command and we'll say uh, the selected mineral is removed successfully. And we will give the notification type as uh, success. Okay, so notification type dot success. So this is how you show the user that the action which you have done is completed successfully. And also we need to refresh the grid. So in order to refresh the grid item, there is a command called as refresh and then it takes the value of that connected data source and that's it. So remember, every statement needs to be separated by semicolon because it's like you're executing multiple commands uh, in a uh, sequential order. So first item, uh, first command is remove. So we remove the selected item. Uh, we notify uh, the user and then we refresh the grid. Now, remember the command which we have written is just for one item. So for that, what we may need to do, we need to go into the visibility and say show on condition from formula. And we need to make this command visible only if one of the item is selected. So count rows self dot selected dot all items equal to one. So if one of the item is selected, then only show this command. So this is from a visibility perspective. But from an execution perspective, for an action, we just remove the item, we notify the user, and then we refresh the grid. So let's save and publish this.
So once this is done, uh, I'll just click on play. Now, as you see over here, uh, for this command, it's saying that we are still publishing parts of your app. So the changes may not be reflected immediately. Once this message goes off, then you should be able to view the changes. So I think the message is gone now. So let me again refresh the screen and let's start removing the item. So first thing that command will only be visible if you select one item. Okay. So now currently that command button is not visible. So if I select one item, that command button is visible, which is delete mineral. If I select multiple items, then that command button is not visible. So that is working as expected. Now we remove the selection and then we select one of the item to delete. I'll click on delete mineral. And then it says the selected mineral is removed successfully. And is, as you see in the screen, that item is gone. So let's select this item again and delete item. Yes, select this, delete, select this, delete. So what is happening is first thing is the item is getting deleted. Then this message is getting shown and then the grid refreshes. So as you see over here, the grid is refreshed. Now, as you see here that you have four notifications. Okay. Now, if I select one more, then this notification will become five, right? So, so see the action, you select this, select the command, item will be deleted. You will have one notification and then the grid will refresh. So this is how you basically use uh, the remove function within power effects to remove a record from a table so that's it folks thanks for watching